Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, but you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Oh wow, this is big, the Moon in reverse. Okay, we have Pisces energy here, um, but the Moon reversed. Wow, your person wants you to know that they have had big realizations during this period of separation. Also, they could have been on a journey, you know, down into the subconscious to see what's going on down there, to face some fears, to look at their own um, ways of showing up in this connection. Um, particularly if this period of separation has kind of initiated the ending of a loop that you were both in. They may have turned around and looked at their part, you know, what was their role in this? How were they showing up? Okay, messages from this person to my viewer. King of Pentacles in the reverse. I think there's been um, a good hard look at their 3D, how they are projecting themselves out into the world, where they're spending their time, their energy, their effort, who they're connecting with. I don't think they've actually spoken about this though with anyone and they may kind of almost resent having to say, you know what, I did have a look at myself and my life and I'm not entirely happy with all the areas of it. I don't know if this, this is someone who can be prideful or a bit in their ego or they like to seem like they have it all together. Um, someone who, if they form an opinion about something, they don't really like to change it. Um, they will, you know, if if some information comes up and they decide, you know what, actually I think differently, but they almost don't want people to draw attention to the fact, like, oh, but didn't you used to say such and such? You know, they just want it to go under the radar. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here reversed with the Eight of Swords reversed, every card reversed so far. So they want you to know they definitely have been looking at blockages and, um, if they have had a role to play here and deciding that yes, to some degree they have. Uh, Will of Fortune, Sagittarius, did I say that? I can't remember. Um, okay, let's keep going. We have, yes, look, the Six of Wands. This is, <laughs> oh, this is funny. Um, this is someone who is very proud and proud doesn't have to mean they are prideful or always in their ego. This could be, especially with the King of Pentacles, this could be someone who likes to, they know how to dress themselves, they like to look put together, they like their home to be nice, they like to just come across as someone who is comfortable, established, you can't really ruffle their feathers. Um, I'm getting strong sort of Taurus energy here. They don't have to be Taurus or an earth sign, but um, I don't know, it's like, I like to look good, I like to smell good, I like to seem put together, I like to give out the image that I'm not concerned about anything to do with home, work, finances, it's all under control, whether that's the reality or not. But this is someone who is very aware of how they are showing up in the world and how other people are perceiving them. Um, and during this period of separation, if you have some kind of access to them, you see them or you see them on social media or something, um, or you hear about them through other people. This is someone who has seemed that, you know, maybe unbothered, everything has continued as usual for them, um, but that is not true. Internally, they've been doing lots and lots of self-reflection and asking themselves difficult questions, um, specifically, possibly something that scares them around asking themselves how they have been perceived by you. There's almost something here where you've looked straight past this very consciously constructed version of themselves that they put out into the world and you have seen something about them, maybe an insecurity or a fear or some kind of way of showing up that's not the most impressive. So maybe you said, oh, you're a bit stubborn or um, you, oh, I don't know, um, you're not, being very empathetic, I don't know, whatever it is, you've kind of pointed something out about them, maybe you've even said this, you know, and at first they might have been like, excuse me, what? No. And they may have blocked you or gone silent or pushed you away or, you know, maybe there was a bit of an argument, but actually what they've done since is sit down and ask themselves, you know, I'm not stubborn, am I? Am I? It's that thing. Is it, um, a meme or something like that where the person's like, am I the drama? You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they've sat down and asked themselves, hold on, is it me? Um, and they've realised at least to an extent, yes, it is them. Or they, they have been doing whatever you've said um, or suggested to them. Okay. 
Yes, death, exactly. Okay, we have Scorpio here. Um, I'm noticing how with the way these cards are placed on the table, she's looking back over her shoulder, almost at this guy on the horse. Um, this horse is dressed in armour, this horse is not. You got behind their facade or the armour they were wearing and um, they have gone through some kind of a transformation and on the one hand they might feel more vulnerable, but they also feel that the way they're trying to show up now in the world is more authentic. This could even be someone whose external reality reflects the changes within, especially if this separation has been quite some time and they've had time to make these tangible physical changes. For example, they could have changed job, um, they could have made a change in a family situation or in a like a relationship dynamic. Um, so, you know, you could actually know for a fact that their external reality is now mirroring the change that they um, experienced within through this self-reflection that I think may have been um, kick-started by something that happened between you both or something you said. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, specifically in relation to you in this connection, this is someone who does not enjoy being in separation from you. And it could be that they were initially very focused on themselves and this process of evolution and self-focus and change. And now they might be in a, in a place where they're feeling pretty good. Like they've come out the other side. They've re-established themselves you know, in an equally good position, but it's more authentic now. And, you know, they might feel that they're more impressive to you or, you know, something like that, just feeling more confident. So now they're saying, okay, I'm ready for this reconnection, but with the wheel reversed, I don't really know how to make this happen. Can you tell us why is the wheel of fortune reversed? Seven of cups reversed. So every idea they consider it's like they're saying, well, that won't work. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups. They could also, um, if you know you are in a relationship with someone who is not this person, um, this person could be looking at you and trying to gauge, are you happy there? Would you welcome them coming forward or would they be just wasting their time or humiliating themselves? Um, if you know you're not in any sort of other situation we do have i'm noticing the king and the queen of pentacles both reversed but both here so there's a feeling that they want to come you know together with you in some kind of commitment very stable um very manifested visible um committed potentially quite traditional whatever that means to them and and to you um and they can see the potential for lots and lots of happiness here but it's almost like every way they consider coming forward they feel like you know, there might be pros and cons, or it just wouldn't work. It feels almost like it's something in their head. They think about this a lot. They imagine this a lot, you know, the next step to take here, but it doesn't feel within reach or something, or it doesn't feel like they've got a tangible, practical plan. Um, let's keep going. It could also be them saying, before I can come forward and make an offer, I need to get myself out of um, a situation that I am in. And just as an FYI, I feel they want you to know if they are married to someone else or in um, a committed relationship with someone else, with it, with it being the King and Queen of Pentacles, there could even be children here. Um, they want you to know that these, that they, your person, and this other person are not really um, getting on very well. You know, the King and Queen, as I said, are reversed. And I feel like you are their happy place. They go into their fantasies and maybe memories and these projections into the future of, of what they could have with you. And that brings them this Ten of Cups um, fulfillment. I feel there's a strong feeling, um, I'm getting Leo energy, by the way, but there's a strong feeling that they are looking to you and you are unreadable right now. I don't know if you are giving nothing away. Maybe you're not very visible in one way or another to this person. Um, or you just, you're, you know, you're doing your own thing, but it's like they're looking over and trying to gather or to guess, you know, how interested exactly are you at this point? Do you think about me? Um, do you feel that I could bring you as much happiness as I think you could bring me? Um, so I don't know if in the past you felt you were sort of a bit of a chaser here or you were the one putting in effort trying to move this forward and then you pulled back and that's what sparked all of this introspection and need for change and desire to change and to be more impressive in whichever way this person um, perceives, you know, to be impressive um but there is a concern right now you know what's your opinion of them do you think of them would you welcome them coming forward towards you 
Okay, what else please? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, can you clarify? So Age of Swords and the Six of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups reversed. Well, that's everything that just came through. They want to make an offer. Um, I think it might be sort of like a small thing to start with, um, just in case you're not interested, um, because with the Queen of Cups reversed, it's like at one point you were this Queen of Cups in the upright, giving freely to them, making it very, very clear um, that you were holding space for this connection and that you cared and all of that. But now a lot of this compassion and love maybe is channeled into yourself. Um, and they're wondering, you know, is do you still, do you still have a place for them? Um, it's interesting though, this card, this Queen of Cups, she has two cups, so whichever way she's facing, she's sort of offering a cup out. Um, so I feel like, yes, of course, there are some feelings here, and I mean, you are watching this reading about them. Um, they might know this intuitively, but in terms of the 3D, they haven't, they're not being given anything, they're not being given any obvious signs. You're sort of keeping yourself to yourself and investing in yourself and doing your own thing. I will say, I'm noticing that there's a lot of almost like steam sort of coming out of these cups. So, you know, if we think of, we heat water up um, and then it sort of starts to evaporate in the form of steam. Um, so it rises up, it comes out. It's It's, it's just a feeling of, the liquid in the cups, the cups are not full anymore. And for some reason, in some way, through some kind of process of transmutation, the what was in the cups is now leaking out or going elsewhere or going in other directions. So a couple of ways I could I could see this. If we think of the, the steam, we think of saying like the passion of wands, we've got the heat, um, we've got the desire to take action combined with water. Um, if there was all of this passion between you and it had nowhere to go, there was nowhere to direct it in terms of towards pentacles, to ground it, to channel this energy into something that can grow, maybe it just, the steam rose up and left, you know? So, so when the water cools, we're going to have less than before. So there's less in the cup now, but it feels almost wasted. Or it could have been that if you felt I'm giving and giving and I'm not getting, getting anything back here, maybe it was a conscious effort to redirect the flow of this love or this emotion into yourself or into something else, maybe another project or something else, you know, maybe even another connection for some of you. Um, so now there's less in this cup for this person here. Um, and it might not be that that's true. It might be that your cup is as full as ever, but this is kind of what they're wondering, you know, you see how we sort of have the looks like, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but we've got these kind of wisps coming out of the cup. This cup is pointed down. So if there was liquid in that, it would just pour out. Actually, it looks like there's blood pouring out. Yeah, I think for some of you, it's a feeling of I've given so much here, I'm giving up and it's sort of just pouring onto the floor. Your person could have felt this or seen this and it's made them panic. Um, look how she's coming in from out of the cold page of pentacles here so something small so they're not putting themselves completely out there but genuinely concerned you know do you still have space here for me or not have you given this to yourself or to someone else um and now the this the compassion the love all of that it's it's run out um or has it been a wasted opportunity did did all you know the water and the the heat did they make steam together and, and it just evaporated and that's it we didn't do anything with this so that's a concern that they have but they do want you to know they've been making changes um they they are admitting here that they can be prideful and stubborn but even without those things they are actually someone who's quite concerned with how they look in the 3d with their status with being respected admired I think that's something about this person that hasn't changed and it doesn't mean it's a bad thing as long as they sort of aren't getting too egotistical and carried away with it which they might have done in the past but there's nothing wrong with being aware of how you're showing up in the world and wanting to be able to be proud of yourself you know as you move through the world um this is someone who's definitely got their eye on you and thoughts of reconciliation in their head um okay so let's get some messages um from them to you
Okay, we've got a few. I'll take the ones I can see. Okay, we've got detachment. Yeah, look, I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. And this is the thing, even if they didn't choose to let this go, maybe you walked away. Maybe something happened that pulled you both apart. This period of separation has allowed them to clear their mind. Look, and then shadow side, you made me realize my flaws. Exactly, that whole moon in reverse energy i'm going into the shadow my own shadow side into all the things i've repressed about myself and i'm going to examine them one by one values we have too many differences and then reflection being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity uh third party there were other things that got in the way of us being together we have time i'm afraid it's too late to take action yeah i mean is there anything in that cup for me at this point escape i left when things got hard yeah um oh okay <laughs> i just got a message through and I, I was just seeing do i have to say that i feel like i do for some of you there's a real sexual message there that this person may have found you to be a temptation and um you know when they sort of felt like gosh i don't think i'm going to be able to control myself anymore they may have disappeared and that could have left you very confused if you felt that you were getting on very well so i don't know if like i said there are other connections going on right now that you're in that they're in maybe both of you if it's a situation where there's like a professional boundary or you're you you know something at work but um yeah but values we have too many differences and escape this card i always i feel like it's an excuse card and there's another card i think um in this deck i'm about to use that has a similar message and for me it's my excuse card so yeah no doubt maybe you are very different in some ways um but i think in the past instead of thinking okay how can we understand each other's point of view this may have been someone who kind of felt like well you know your life is very different to mine or I, I disagree with what you're saying and I'm just going to shut the door on that and that's it I won't sit and reflect and consider whether maybe this is a chance for me to expand in my thinking you know I don't want to be challenged I know who I am king of pentacles six of wands that's it Yeah, chaser. I don't want to chase any more. That's interesting because I feel that might have been an energy that you, that you guys feel like you might have been in in the past. Um, let me see. What are they talking about here? Chasing what? It is coming out in line with that, that um, Page of Pentacles offer, but... I think for many of you, they may not even have extended this to you yet. So I don't understand how it's a chasing energy exactly. Tell us more about this message, please. Seven of Cups. Okay, so it's in their thoughts. They've been thinking about this for so long. And look, we've got the chariot. I always feel like they're jumping in the car and chasing after you. Um, it's cancer energy there. So yeah, they've been thinking about this so much. They might feel like they're chasing you, maybe chasing you energetically or trying to keep up with what you're doing or, you know, so they do feel like in some way they have been recently a bit of a chaser, but it's so internalized i don't think it's even manifesting in the physical reality in any sort of way that you would be aware of actually at this point yet so maybe they're just thinking gosh i'm fed up with these thoughts of me you know chasing you in my head um maybe i should just go for it maybe i should just offer this offer to you and see if you you know if it's too late or if you are still open to this connection Okay, your words linger in my mind. Yeah, some of you said something to this person and it cut straight through their facade. And I think initially it triggered them, maybe it got their back up, they didn't like it, but actually they've really harnessed what you've said and thought about it and used it as a catalyst for some kind of growth or um, self-transformation. My mind and heart always comes back to you. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. So um, what was it? We've got too many differences with the values card and then I left when things got hard. Oh my God, that message keeps coming through. For some of you, this person could have seemed very sexual in the past, but ungrounded with it. Almost like they were giving that energy away to, to anyone they saw in the street. Um, and for some of you, yes, they may have jumped into another connection that felt easier that they now regret um, than pushing through with you here. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Oh, here it is, my excuses card. Maybe we're just too different. La la la. You know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but um, I don't, I just, when this card comes out, really makes me irritated because I feel it's someone who's saying, well, I've had a brief look at the situation and it's far too difficult. You know, we should go our separate ways. They've not really sat down and tried. They've not thought about it. They've not talked it through. Um, I can still feel you. We have, oh, just to say as well, you could have a very close energetic connection right now and even be dreaming of one another with that moon card coming out. I know I made a huge mistake. And look how so far this is the only white card. It's really standing out. Um, and that's underneath the grass wasn't greener. So yeah, like I said, if they went off into another connection or back to a connection, it's a regret that they have now. I just wasn't ready for you. Yeah. So now they feel that they are, but now it's like, well, I've, you know, been doing something in the meantime that maybe, you know, you might not be able to get past or not or might not want to get past and also time has passed so maybe you've moved on these are the concerns that they're having okay let's see there's a link to this deck um, in the description box if you like it i've never stopped loving you i never will for some of you i think this person's in the, you know hasn't even told you that they love you or even you know that they have romantic feelings towards you um i feel unsafe fragile and vulnerable right now totally out of my element please pray for my protection while i figure while i figure out my way through this illusion into my power okay and that is in line with the horse, you know, that I said it doesn't have its armor on anymore, so it might feel vulnerable, but at the same time, there's there's almost like an exuberance and a confidence and a freedom in saying, well, this is who I am, I'm not pretending anymore. Yeah, look, I can feel you in the energetic realm. When you pray for me and talk to me telepathically, it's really helping me. Please keep it up. It's giving me faith. Oh my God, this, <laughs> oh, this persistent message. This is the column with that sexual message. And I left when things got hard, you know, the double meaning there. Um, whether we're, we, you know, whether you're watching for a man or a woman. Um, yeah, I don't know. Please, please keep it up. I've, oh my God, this reading. Uh, okay, right. Don't underestimate the power of our love. Expect a miracle in line with that page of pentacles offer. I'm still trying to get over my ex and related wounds. Please give me the space. Uh, please give me space while I heal and know once I lick my wounds, I'll come to you properly healed. I've really been through the ringer. So something could have just ended in the, in the practical realm. You know, we did have that king and queen of pentacles reversed. Some of my friends and or family don't approve of you, but I don't care. I'll be mourning those people if they don't come around to back me up on what truly makes me happy. I know it will be sad, but for the best, I want to call or visit so badly, but I have so much to do right now before I feel I can give you the time and attention you deserve, but I'm working you up my list of priorities, that's a promise. Okay, <clears throat> I'm afraid I'll push you away out of feeling unworthy. Let me work on myself, sorry, let me work on loving myself. I know I can do this and I really don't want to lose you. You are my everything. Okay, so this chaser energy, that could be them preempting that they may end up chasing you if they come forward too soon and they're not ready because you might look at them and think no thanks you know and then they'll end up chasing you so they could be preempting this um you know a flip potentially and like a runner chaser dynamic here okay and let's just get a few cards to have a look at where they want to direct your attention in terms of perhaps um what's going on for them in the 3d any changes they've been making sometimes we get zodiac signs coming out with these messages okay we have sneaky so this could be a sneaky person um or someone who hmm someone who i'm not getting like a sinister sneaky someone who's good at kind of watching without being seen that kind of an energy this is someone who reads between the lines they're more interested in the things you're not saying than what you are saying um someone who might research you before they next see you but you won't know they've done that you know that kind of a thing um okay okay 
uh, it's not just lust, it's love. Okay, well, I mean, maybe they feel they need to reassure you of that with all the sort of lusty messages coming through in today's reading. Uh, we have Sagittarius coming out, which we did have with the Wheel of Fortune. We have uh, self-depreciating. So this could be someone with a self-depreciating sense of humour, or they could use their humour to cover up any actual insecurities that they have. But clearly some kind of self-deflection here. Um, they don't like to feel exposed, and you really saw straight to the core of who they were, um, which I think triggered them, like I said, at some point. We have unresolved mother issues, so that could be their issues, there could be a child involved and they're dealing with the child's mother, maybe father, um, or it could just be unresolved issues with the feminine, feminine energy, external feminine energies, their own feminine energy. Um, so maybe they, they're showing up in like sort of a hyper masculine, almost distorted masculine energy to overcompensate for the fact that they feel uncomfortable in their own feminine energy. So someone who's very controlling, you know, we did have that, that real focus on how am I perceived by people out in the world? I need to control, control, control maybe now they're realizing they can only control what people think of them or how people perceive them to a point um when's the next bus out of here okay where are they trying to go um let's write a book together okay so that's like let's let's make so many memories together that we could fill a book um let me see which deck do i want to use this one where are they trying to escape from Oh, I just saw the Magician reverse with the Chariot. So Gemini energy, um, Cancer energy, but maybe getting away from a situation that feels fake because the, the Magician reverse to me is, um, you know, someone who isn't actually in their power. They just want people to think they are. So a situation that looks good on the surface. Um, could, it could literally be a Gemini, but a Gemini who's in a low vibration that they're trying to get away from. Okay, when's the next bus out of here? Oh, yeah, Ten of Wands reversed. They are done with something, with the situation. Uh, okay, what else? Um, Queen of Cups reversed. When was that? I think it might have been the Twin Flame reading I did Tuesday Just Gone. So if you haven't watched that, you might have more messages in that reading, whether you identify this connection as a Twin Flame connection or not. But um, there was this energy in that reading, someone who's either emotionally manipulative, um, dependent, emotionally unstable, but a kind of... Um, sneaky insidious energy i mean we do have sneaky here but i'm getting a different kind of sneaky from this reversed queen of cups like it, it's deliberate and it's with sinister intentions maybe to control page of wands reversed and the king of pentacles so yeah and this king is looking over his shoulder into the future so um for some of you this person is is entangled with someone else whether it's a partner parent you know we do have unresolved mother issues um some person in dominant low vibrational feminine energy that they want to get away from but there's some practical reason that they're tied to this situation page of wands could be a child maybe a leo airy sagittarius child but um you know if there's no child i feel it's it's your person saying page of wands i want to go off on an adventure to come towards you you know we'll write a book together we'll we'll create all these memories we'll have fun but right now um you know i've got this situation to deal with first and we did see a lot of that in these these message cards here okay so i'm gonna leave this here but thank you for watching i hope this resonated or that there were some helpful messages here for you um as i said let me know if you've got any thoughts or any requests for a valentine's day reading whether it's like a collective pick a card you know whatever you fancy um and yeah i will see you soon bye